look what I got in the mail. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Laura. This is the Last Minute Laura channel. And when you come here, you can usually find me making something or doing something crafty. Today, I am going to be unboxing some yarn. So I don't know what is in this package at all. Uh, I do know it is Briggs and Little yarn. Briggs and Little is Canada's oldest mill for wool and I've been buying their wool for a long time. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. They did send me this yarn for free, um, but I'm not being paid to say anything about their yarn, just so you know. Anyway, this yarn um, is colors that are only available at their store. Maybe some white in here too. So we might be doing some natural dye, but let's open it up and see what's inside. It's very well packaged. And there we go. Ooh. There's a note in there for me. Let me cut into the bag just so we can get to that note without touching any of the yarn. Awesome. There's a whole bunch. Oh my gosh, there's like a whole bunch. Oh my gosh, this is like a lot of yarn. Holy mackerel. Okay, let me start. Let me put this box a little bit more out of frame. Is that okay? That's good. Okay, let's get into the first bag. Ooh. I would have done this on the live stream, but this arrived after the live stream had ended. Okay, so this is all Briggs and Little yarn and it's yarn I've never seen before. I didn't pick it. So it's kind of exciting because it's like, now I have to think of things to make with these colors that are like, look at this. Oh, that is so neat. Marigold, oh, it's called Marigold. Oh, look at the colors in that. Oh, it is totally like Marigolds. Oh, I like that. And what type is it? Ooh, it's, let's see. Okay, there's two of that, that's awesome. There's two of the marigold, that's a decent amount. That's like enough for something knitted, like a full sweatery type thing, probably almost. How many yards are in these? It's 113 grams. It doesn't say the yardage, but I'm guessing it's about 240 because that's what the other ones that I purchased from them had. What about this? Oh my goodness, this goes with that one. There's two of this, look at this. Okay, so this one's called Springtime. Look at how good Springtime and Marigold go together. Ooh. Okay, let me show you the Springtime up close. It's like this soft purpley gray and it's mixed in with this Kelly green and sort of an olive green. It's really, the Kelly green is dark. It's almost a hunter green. And then the uh, olive green, Oh, it's lovely. I love how they put the purple in with the green. That's fun. I like this one too, though. I like the bright orange. I think that'll be fun. I don't know what we'll do with it yet, but. Ooh, you're gonna have to leave comments. Leave a suggestion of what you think I should do with these yarn colors. Cause some of these are just, this is amazing. This one's called Cranberry Delight. Totally delightful. I mean, it's yarn and it's funky and it's, it's pink and it's maroon. Look at it. It's got like, obviously some cranberry colors, some really dark, maybe pomegranate. I don't know. It's like some, some pink and purple and maroon vibes. Oh, I like that one. That one could be something pretty, uh, I feel like this could be a fancier thing because of that dark cranberry color. And then a lone skein. What is this? This is super wool and it's the color cactus that's an accurate description of what the color is it's totally cactusy it's really similar to the color that i get when i dye yarn with uh english ivy or black eyed susans that's another one that'll give a really bright green like this natural dye i mean that's so fun okay so that's very exciting that's like a bunch of new projects so let me show you all of them the colorful ones again We've got the marigold, the springtime, and the cranberry delight. So fun! But guess what? There's still a whole other bag. And this is the part that gets me really excited. Oh, look at this. 
Do you see much color on these ones at all? The answer is no. Okay, so there's one with color <laughs> and that is a pink, a pink skein. It's cute. It looks like just the color pink. Wow, these are like really well packaged in here. Hi, peekaboo. So there's one hank of pink, which is a pretty pink, very usable, absolutely. But then there's a ton of hanks, like 19 is what it said in the letter, 19 hanks of plain white yarn. Perfect for doing natural dye with. That's what I'm so excited about because that means that's 19 videos, essentially, 19 projects we're gonna be able to dye all kinds of colors. I wanna get back with my natural dyes and I have so many onion skins stored up. So I'm really pumped to do some onion skin tutorials again with this one. And what other colors do I wanna make? I think I wanna do black bean blue again. That was a really fun color to do. Of course I wanna do avocado skins again. Maybe I'll find some like acorns in the neighborhood or something like that. I'm gonna look up other things that are around where I live because I wanna do some natural dye really bad. And this gives me so much of an opportunity. I hope it excites you the same way that it excites me. I'm really, really looking forward to playing with some of this yarn. Anyways, just a little short one for you today because I got some mail in and I thought maybe you'd like to do an unboxing with me to see what we got. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Also, thank you so much to my patrons who are supporting me on Patreon. You guys are the best. I really, really appreciate you. This is the list of patrons who are helping out on Patreon. If you're interested in joining, uh, the links are in the description down below. Anywho, I'll see you next week. Bye.